Hi everyone, welcome to Glow with Grace. So today I wanted to share an update on Araya at 17 months. She turned 17 months a few days ago now as I record this. <clears throat> and I've been making notes during this last month about all the different things she's been doing and saying. And um, I'm really glad actually that I'm doing these videos because it helps me to realize with the passage of time all the different things that um, are progressing and different things that she's saying, which I just don't think I would have as clear a picture of if I wasn't doing this. So. I'm really grateful for these videos and I think some of you are enjoying them too, so that's cool. Okay, here we go. Here's some of the new things that have been coming out in the last month. So she can reach onto countertops now, especially like in the kitchen. She can reach up and like pull things off the counter, which has been interesting <laughs> to realise, you know, suddenly things are like going flying and spilling everywhere. Um, and also in the kitchen, she has started to use the dog door. So we have this kind of like rubber door for the dogs and the cats also to go in and out. And she started to use that. Um, and she thinks it's really funny. I think it's really funny as well. It's really sweet. Um, she likes to go in and out and mama, mama, mama. That's really funny. Um, oh, she, okay, well, if she's like choking on something, like she swallowed water the wrong way or something and she's <coughs> Um, I always like pat her on the back between her shoulder blades and I started to realize <laughs> recently if she's if she's coughing like that and someone doesn't come and hit her on the back like that um, she she starts to try to do it herself it's so funny it's like it's become this kind of placebo thing for her or something like someone has to be hitting her on her back for her to stop coughing so the other day <laughs> she was coughing and no one had hit her on the back and um, I saw her and she suddenly, she was like this. <laughs> she was like hitting herself on the back of the neck. I guess it was like the only part that she could reach or something. It was so... <coughs> really funny. Um, she's been getting really good with like fine motor skills. Like um, caps on bottles and things like that. Like working out more and more how things like that work. It's cool to see. Oh, and she's started to drink really well from things like this. This is something I was just drinking juice from. This is pretty big glass, you know, it's pretty heavy. Now, I'm guessing that with other children who aren't like exclusively breastfed for a long time and full term breastfeeding, they probably start to drink from things like, well, maybe not like this, <laughs> but start to drink from cups and stuff earlier. But for us, this is a pretty recent thing that she started to drink by herself from cups. And we have these really cool little stainless steel cups that are for her. Um, and usually, you know, she drinks from those and it's cool because if she drops them, it doesn't matter. You know, they're stainless steel. They don't break or anything. But sometimes I'll be drinking from something like this and she'll come and just take it out of my hands and she can totally drink from it herself. It's so cool. She just recently started to do that. She started to walk off things really competently so for example our beds are just mattresses on the floor and she might be like walking across the mattress with something in both hands and she'll get to the end of it and she'll just walk off like totally competently onto the floor like without stopping without putting the things down without you know like turning around and shuffling off and so so that's been really cool yeah she's got all these little improvements in her walking and running and Jumping, I don't know if I've mentioned that, but she's been super into the trampoline in the last couple of months or so and She's yeah, she's just really good at like jumping around and they're on herself now and she loves it She spends so much time on the trampoline um, Oh something else that I don't know if I ever really mentioned she's really into flowers and she always has been, um, that was one of her first words, flower. And most mornings she, she goes on a walk with her dad every morning and most mornings she comes back with like at least one handful of flowers for me. She came back this morning with four roses, they were so beautiful. There's just flowers everywhere on our land and she absolutely loves all of them. So usually there's just like vases of flowers everywhere in our kitchen, which is really nice. Um, and about going on a walk with her dad every morning, she has become like more and more into doing that as well in the last couple of months, which has been really nice to see. I don't know if I shared that story here of one morning when she woke up really early and he was still in bed. <clears throat> 
And she got the sling that he carries her in and went to the bed and was like, Vamos! <laughs> Let's go! Um, yeah, she's just really into going on walks with him at the moment, which is really nice. It gives me a bit more space and time. Um, she's got a lot more pairs of shoes in the last month, which I think all of you know she's obsessed with shoes. And uh, so that's been like so much fun for her. Like, there's shoes in all different places around the house. and she is always like putting one pair on and taking them off and carrying them around like sometimes she'll be like carrying like six or eight <laughs> little shoes at a time and it's cool actually she's worked out how to put them into a bag so that she can carry them in a bag instead of like trying to carry everything in her arms um oh there was a really cool moment this morning as well it just blows me away how intelligent she is so someone had given her a new little pair of boots, like little, um, we call them Wellington boots in the UK, like galoshes or whatever you call it. Um, and she was really excited to wear them. They're like too big for her, but she just wanted to wear them anyway. Um, and so she was walking around in them and I was going to pick stuff in the greenhouse and she came with me and there were these little insoles, like little inserts for the shoes. And so I was trying to, <laughs> Between trying to carry all the stuff that I just picked for our smoothie and her with these two big boots that were falling off and the insoles. At one point I just like dropped the insoles in the greenhouse and just thought, oh, I'll come back for them later. She won't notice, you know. And then we were like walking to the front door of the greenhouse and she just stopped. And she's just like looking around everywhere and she's like, shoes, shoes. And she had realized that I had left the insoles somewhere and she just went off on this mission to find them you know it just is amazing to me like she's just so sharp so clear and perceptive um what else oh she's been sleeping really well lately that's been amazing um she sometimes now doesn't wake up at all the whole night Sometimes she'll wake up once, occasionally twice, but it's usually like just one time a night at, at, at this point, it's so nice. And she often isn't peeing at all the whole night because it's cyclical, of course. Like if she wakes up, then she nurses back to sleep. So then she's more likely to pee. And so then she wakes up because she's peed. And so then she nurses more and you know, it's like that. But with this new pattern where she's not really waking up, it's like she's not really nursing, so she's not really peeing. So we're going the whole night uh, pretty often where she's not peeing. Or she'll just pee once and then nurse back to sleep and then that's it. She won't wake up again until the morning. So um, I think the big shift that occurred with that was we suddenly realized that we didn't have our grounding pads on our beds. So someone asked me about this recently in a comment, um, like what, what's the deal with putting grounding pads on your beds? And um, what had happened in our bedroom was we had had some tiling work done on the floor and we had disconnected the grounding pads and we'd completely forgotten to put them back for like months and months and months. And we were suddenly realizing the other day, like, what the, what happened? Where's the grounding pads? So we put them back on, we have sheets actually for the beds. We put the sheets back on. And from that day, that night, as soon as we put the grounding sheets back on the bed, that was when she started to sleep like really well. It was incredible to see it because children don't lie, right? Like she's not, you know, making that happen for some reason suddenly that, oh, I'm suddenly sleeping through the night or only waking up once. It was just the effect that putting the sheets back on. So if you don't know about grounding technology, let me try and explain. So, okay. All other animals in the wild are constantly connected to the earth, right? They're always, you know, touching the earth, touching plants, trees, whatever. Um, most humans are like chronically disconnected from the earth at this point. So when we connect to the earth, it helps to ground us. It like cancels out free radicals. We can recover much faster from injuries, all kinds of things like that. So there's all these different grounding technology things that you can like use on your bed while you're asleep and they you know, it literally um, goes to a piece of metal that you stick into the ground outside and you're grounded. It has like silver going all the way, silver like thread going through the whole sheet. So you're like connected through the metals into the ground. 
And then there's also things for computers and, and different things. There are all kinds of stuff. Like you can put your computer onto a pad which is connected through the grounding point of a plug in the wall. There's all kinds of stuff. Anyway, it's made a huge difference in our life in the last however long it's been since we put the sheets back on, maybe 10 days, something like that. So I'm super grateful and um, yeah, just so happy that <laughs> I remembered to put them back on. Um, there's really cool videos if you look up the kind of grounding technology stuff. There's cool videos about how people's recovery and um, it's so much faster, like athletes and stuff. And then also there's all these cases with children who were disturbed in different ways, um, who have amazing effects from using the sheets. I think there's like autistic children and different things. I mean, again, like children don't lie, right? You know, a child has that kind of experience on a grounding pad and they sleep much better. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit too excited about that. It's just made such a difference <laughs> in our lives. Um, Okay, I think that's about it for all the different things she's been doing. Um, okay, about the words. Oh yeah, it's been cool with, with language in the last month. I've realised that um, she understands two words for a lot of things because she's learning English and Spanish simultaneously. There's a number of different things where she understands both words for the same thing. Um, so, for example, mano and hand she understands both words. She only says mano in Spanish, but she understands both words. So if I say that I'm gonna wash my hands, she'll say mano, mano, mano. She knows what I'm talking about. If I say I'm gonna get some water, she'll say agua, agua. You know, she knows that it's the same thing. Um, and the same with shoes and zapatos. Like, she, she actually says both of those. She says shoe and pato, um, but she usually says shoe. So it's really cool to see, you know, I didn't grow up bilingual, um, I would certainly have loved to, and it's really cool for me to see her growing up like that. Um, my degree was actually in linguistics, in the study of language, and I've always been super interested in languages, and um, especially, you know, how does a human learn a language, how do they learn a second language, all the kind of socio-psycho aspects of language, so it's amazing to see it actually in person unfolding with a little child. Okay, so here are the words that she's been saying, new things, in the last month. I think she's at like about 70 words or something now in her vocabulary, it's amazing. Okay, the English ones first. She says sitting, especially in the bath, she likes to sit in different parts of the bath. Sitting. Um, she says bear, as in animal. Um, she seems so far to have the same kind of accent as I do. I was originally from the south of England and I don't pronounce R's at the end of words that's called being non-rhotic and so far she's pronouncing things like I do so she doesn't say bear she says bear like I do um, she says tea she likes to drink tea like I do um, I make a special herbal tea most well I make it every few days and I drink it pretty much every single day and she really likes it too it's like okay chamomile peppermint catnip, red raspberry leaf and nettle is what I'm drinking at the moment and I make it in a big batch and I put it so it's cold in the fridge and I feel like it's really good for her because of the chamomile with you know she's still teething she's under two years old and it's good for digestion and all kinds of things calcium so she says tea she likes drinking that she says mop because sometimes if I miss when she pees, um, I say, let's mop it up. Like I get a cloth to mop it up and she says, mop, mop, mop. Um, oh, this one's funny. When she does anything strenuous, she says, oh, ah, oh, ah. She makes this noise. I don't know where she got it from. She just made it up, but it's funny. It's like anything strenuous, you know, like standing up, holding something heavy or something. Oh, ah. Um, she says loo roll, which is a British way of saying toilet paper. Um, yeah, like if she, if I'm cleaning up some poo or something on the floor, I'll be, I'll be like, I'm going to go and get some loo roll. And she'll be like, loo roll. Uh, she says ants, which is really funny the way she says it. She's like, ants, ants. It's like really, <laughs> that consonant cluster, N-T-S, she really like puts a lot of effort into that. 
Um, she, this one's so funny. She says, hallelujah. So I was singing hallelujah in the kitchen one day, like hallelujah. And um, she was just totally silent. She was just standing there. And then when I stopped, she, said, she was like, hallelujah. And she, she would just say it. No, if I say hallelujah, she'd be like, hallelujah, hallelujah. So it's an interesting first word. Um, she says door, again without an R at the end. She says pretty, but it's like pretty, pretty, something like that. Um, okay, and that's all the English ones. And then in Spanish, she says mano, hand. She says vamos, let's go. Pepe, who's one of the guys who works in the garden. She really loves Pepe because he um, gives her flowers all the time. Um, she says me in Spanish and she always means it in terms of food. It's always like when she wants some food for herself. It's like me as in it's for me. That's the only way that she uses it. Um, she says Mita, which is the name of one of the women who works with her. Carmita is her name, but she says Mita. Um, and then the other one in Spanish that she's saying, that is very recent, she says otra, which is um, like another or the other, something like that. Um, and it's just really cool to see how she's using that one as well. So she just got it recently and everything now, the last few days, is otra, da, 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 da. so for example, she'll, she'll see some pictures of some ducks and duck is Spanish, in pato, uh, is pato in Spanish. So she'll be like, pato, and then she'll be like, otra pato, otra pato. She always says otra at the moment, the feminine form. Everything is otra something. Like, she'll look at people's shoes and be like, shoe, otra shoe. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just fun to see how she's so excited about understanding that you know like it's something and it's another one and it's another one like getting that things are the same um and then there's a lot of different things that she just repeats in the moment but it doesn't seem like she actually uses that word independently by herself so for example we were looking at um some rainbows the other day there was a double rainbow and i was sitting with her and i was saying double double rainbow and she just kept saying over and over again, double, double, double. Like she's just looking at the rainbow, double, double. Um, but she never uses that by herself. You know, it was just an in the moment thing. So I think that's pretty much it for all the things that she's saying right now. And thank you for joining us for this 17 month update. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.